Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the full moon. Yeah, so let's consider this a full moon reading. Now, the full moon energies can last up to six months, so this could happen, you know, at any time. So, what do we have for the full moon? The lovers. Lovers reversed, so that's the overall energy. The lovers reversed, so that's a, that's the lovers reversed is the end of a contract. It's ending a contract of some sort, a false contract. This is conflict, disharmony, disconnection, detachment. I mean, it is. Detaching from a false contract, the beginning, the beginning of detachment. This is separation, disharmony, eight of pentacles reverse, not working out, something's not working out. There's one-sidedness, somebody's, somebody's not in it, they're not in it to win it, they're not putting in effort. Somebody is not putting in effort, they're just not interested not meant to be. Oh, there it is. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, giving up. Somebody is definitely giving up. They have no plan. They have no plan of putting in effort either. You may have somebody here that is unemployed. They could be becoming unemployed. That could be the contract. That could be the end of a contract. Could be could be an employment contract. Okay, it could be an, an employment contract, but it could also be a partnership, a union, a you know, a sexual contract, whatever. This could it, whatever it is is the end of a contract. There's something is being taken away. It's coming to a stop because somebody isn't put. They aren't working hard enough. It's not working out. They, they haven't learned, you know, they just aren't doing it right. Something isn't happening. Two of Pentacles. Interesting. We got Pentacles and the Lover's card. So there's another option here. We have somebody here that is juggling. They're going back and forth. They may have been playing games and maybe they've been playing games at work or playing games in a relationship. Playing, you know, having struggling with a choice. We have two choices here. We have we definitely have a choice. Somebody is they have another option. They've been going back and forth. Definitely two choices. So somebody's been considering another option. And I think they've been considering another option because wherever they're at, it's not working out. The Two of Pentacles is a choice. So isn't a lover's card. So needing to be flexible, needing to adapt, needing to... But somebody's about to, to lose it because as soon as that cat hits the teeter-totter, there is somebody's about to... You know, they're going to need to react really, really fast. Um, probably going to lose their ground. Somebody's about to lose their ground. They're about to lose something because they, they just are. I just know that they are. Somebody's about to lose something. I, I know they are. They're about to lose something because they're about to be... It's like gravity takes over. You can't fight gravity. You know, um, there's a realignment here. There is some sort of realignment that is happening. Um, it's happening for a reason. But anyhow, um, what goes around comes around as well. So something could be coming back around. Um, there is a choice. Somebody is making a choice to end a contract because it's not working out. And they have a better option. And it looks like they've been focusing on, an, on one quite a bit more. They've been focusing on something you know, trying to make a decision. There's been a level of indecisiveness. They've been going back and forth, but it feels like there's somebody that is about to help them make a decision. Okay, it's like gravity or the universe or something unexpected because this is unexpected. There could be an unexpected opportunity that has popped up that is really helping them to make them a, deci a decision. Somebody, it's like, it's like you're at the end of the road, you know, and you've got two choices and you have to choose. It's it's like you have to choose, and somebody is going to choose. They're going to choose one over the other. So that's what we got here. The choice is going to be made, 
and somebody something is going to be dropped okay there and it's some sort of false contract somebody's maybe let go they may be let go um I don't know if there's an X here for that Knight of Pentacles reverse. That could be an X. Somebody could be dealing with an individual that, that plays a lot of games, you know. Um, doesn't have a lot of financial stability as well. You know, doesn't work very hard. It's kind of lazy. Eight of Wands. Expect a message. Expect a message. Things are going to happen fast. There's going to be some fast forward movement. A choice is about to be made and things are going to change fast. This is changing fast. So something is going to change fast. It really is. There's going to be some messages going back and forth in regards to the end of a contract. The end of a partnership. Okay. Um, there's been a delay though. There's been a delay. Somebody was trying to make something work but they just couldn't they just couldn't it just wasn't compatible there was too much disharmony there was it doesn't look like there's any attraction here as well so anyway eight of wands that is fast forward movement somebody is ready for a change and there is a change that is coming so yeah there is a change that is coming get prepared to hear some to get some news there's triumphant news arriving in regard and it, and it is good news it is good news, even though it may feel like it's not good news to some. The devil reverse. So the devil reverse is breaking free from a codependent situation. Somebody is breaking free. They have chosen to break free from something that does not serve them. They are severing ties. Severing ties with something that is unhealthy. That is not stable. That is not working out. The decision is made. Somebody is seeing something clearly. They're coming out of a dark place. I also feel there's been some messages going back and forth. There may have been some text messages. I'm not sure if if it's with somebody from the past. I don't know if that gets discovered. There's definitely some communication here going back and forth. There could be some, I got a sneeze coming. That has, if I sneeze, excuse me. Um, somebody may have been um, jealous. There could be some jealousy issues here. Anyhow, we have a false contract that is coming to an end. It is not working out. Somebody is breaking free. It's not meant to be. It was only, it was probably only based on codependency. The whole partnership was because you know to have something to make it look good because of ego social pressure that kind of thing um somebody was was tempted by how something looked but it didn't it wasn't cracked up all it wasn't all cracked up to what it was supposed to be or whatever it was um wasn't cracked up to be what it was supposed to be anyhow that is breaking free. And I feel like what has happened is things have gotten worse. There's been no unity. There's been no com things. There's been fighting. There's been conflict. Things are just getting worse and worse and worse. Now the choice is clear. The choice is clear that it's time to uh, break free of this codependent thing, whatever it is. This codependent partnership. Um... stop working on it. Somebody's going to stop trying. They're going to stop working on a false relationship, a false contract. It's just not working out. There is a better option. <laughs> Five of Cups, grieving, sadness, separation, There is definitely going to be a separation. That's all there is to it. 
There is separation, separation, separation. So yeah, there's going to be a separation here. It's a separation, but there's another opportunity for love waiting. That's a two of cups right there. There's another opportunity that is better, that is absolutely waiting. But this person hasn't been able to see it because they've been focusing on something that... Uh, was emotionally draining by the looks of things. But I feel like we have a person that is deciding to let it go. I feel like they have decided, they've decided to let something go. It looks like this person is letting it go. It's just like, I'm just going to let it go. I do have another opportunity. I'm going for the other opportunity. Somebody is making a choice to go for the other opportunity. This is a change. It is absolutely a change. There's been some sort of conflict. There's been a power struggle, but I feel like the power struggle is over. Somebody was fighting their own uh, demons. Codependency. Codependency, not wanting to be alone. But it's like now they see, now they realize that they, you know, they have another option. They see the other option. They have been having a hard time playing it safe, you know, not wanting to let go because it was something to hold on to. But now they have this other option that is, uh, probably pretty exciting by the looks of things they may have been communicating with somebody you know but they have to break free they have to make a choice to break free from something that they have been codependent on and i feel like they are about to make that choice you know they are separating they are separating from the faults from the false contract after being stagnant after you know, not finding the ability to do so. And I feel like they weren't able to do so because they were going back and forth trying to make the decision, you know, is this the right decision? You know, there's 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 always fear here. The devil is ruled by fear and ego. So fear and ego may and pride and, you know, worried about what everybody else is going to say may have kept somebody tied to a situation that they were not happy in. As you can see that we got somebody here that is in a situation that they're not happy with. They're really not happy with, but you know, it looked really good in the beginning. It did. It looked really, really, really good. Um, so, but they're not happy. So somebody, and it, maybe it was good at the beginning, but now it's been hard to break free from it. But I feel like freedom is coming. Absolutely. So this is, this is a freedom. Be prepared to get some messages going and to go back and forth, um, and, and hear about a separation, you know, um, For a, there's somebody is taking a new opportunity for a cups reversed. They've been they've been crying over a loss. They've been moping over somebody else, and and now they're taking a new opportunity. They've been really discontent in their current relationship. Somebody has has been so focused on I think somebody from the past or something, not realizing that they had an opportunity for love. It's like they were with the wrong one. Somebody has been with the wrong one. And the wrong one knows that that the person they've been dealing with is thinking about somebody else. Do you know what I mean? But this person has been so codependent that they were thinking that they could make this other person love them. And the other person was trying to get over the other person that they love. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, now there's a realization... There is. There's going to be a change. There's going to be a change because there's going to be a release. There's going to be breaking free. Accepting. Accepting that it's not working out. Accepting that whoever uh, that they have been interested in is in love with somebody else. And they may get, somebody may see some messages. They may see some messages or something and that could cause the conflict that ends it all. And that causes the the uh, change. It's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, something happens. And it has to do with messages that causes a sudden change and makes the choice. It's like the choice is made now.
So there's some sort of earthly powers that are larger than us that is causing an alignment. They're causing somebody to make a choice. It's going to happen just like that. Something is going to be seen that breaks somebody free from a false contract that was built on, I don't know, codependency, materialism, greed, whatever. This is definitely a separation from the wrong one, from the wrong one, seizing a new opportunity. There's a, there's, there's an interest, there's a new interest here. There's a new love interest that is being accepted. This is letting go of regret. It's the end of stagnation. It's looking forward now, focusing on the future, letting it go, letting something go that, you know, perhaps there was a third party. Somebody was hoping that they could make somebody love them. They were hoping that they could help somebody to, you know, or make somebody fall in love with them. But that's not the case. So anyway, be prepared for somebody to make a choice. The universe is involved here. This is going to be sudden. It's going to be all of a sudden you're, you're, the choice is made. And there's going to be some sort of communication going back and forth. Somebody is now interested, whereas they weren't interested. I feel like they weren't interested in the past because of a third party. But I feel like the contract is ending with the third party. And the third party could be anybody. It could be whatever it is. It could be a job. It could be an employer. It could be a mother. It could be a father. It could be an ex. It could be a lover. It could be um, a family member. Whatever it is, somebody is choosing to follow their heart and break free from an unhealthy partnership that isn't working out. Somebody's going to be getting a lot of messages from somebody that is very, very interested in them. Good luck.